welcome back. An initiative which forms part of the government's food import substitution program continues to benefit farmers and agro-processors across the island. The farmers market, which is held monthly in different locations around the island, continues to contribute to the reduction of the island's food import bill. Nisha Charles reports. The Nisha's food import substitution program, more commonly known as the Seven Crops Project, was launched in 2019 with the aim of reducing the island's $7 million food import bill. The program has seen farmers focus on growing seven key crops, cantaloupes, honeydew, melons, lettuce, tomatoes, pineapples, watermelons, cabbages, and bell peppers. Farmers markets play a critical role in showcasing these products in their raw form, as well as products which can be made from them. A recent farmer's market in Cash Trees was the latest installment. So we get persons to come in to, say, to sell their produce and also we're trying to promote healthy eating and supporting our local economy and eating fresh and that kind of stuff. The project has been ongoing for over a year and in the first year we were trying to aim at 5% reduction which we did achieve and we are wonderfully um, excited in ongoing to reach our bigger picture. So in, in doing so we do this kind of stuff across the island. Since inception of the project, farmers markets have been held in Rodney Bay, Denry, Babano, Miku and Sufre to name a few. Prophet says the turnout has been remarkable. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been an even greater push to grow and consume local. The agricultural officer says while national food security does not happen overnight, the progress so far is commendable. We advise our farmers to plant more. So in the event that we cannot import anything, we would have more food on island. And this would just be one avenue to get these foods out to the public, apart from selling to Marcy or maybe selling on the roadside or at the Castries market. This is just an additional venue for us to consume more of what is being produced on the island. The farmer's market has also proven beneficial for the entrepreneurs. They take us around different places like Rodney Bay, Castries, different places before. So you get into expose your product to different people, different communities, and um, people getting to know you, get to know the products, and people are really liking it. So the farmer's market is a good thing, good initiative. The hosting of monthly farmer's markets will kick off again in January 2021. The food import substitution project is expected to run until November 2021. For the Hot 7 News, Nisha Charles reporting. Three communities throughout St. Lucia receive weather stations under the Seven Crops Project. More in this report. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, in collaboration with the Taiwan Technical Mission in St. Lucia, through the Seven Crops Project, have established three weather stations in the communities of Babono, Denry and Schwazel. The data being provided by the weather stations will assist farmers in making more informed decisions on the cultivation of their crops and minimize loss due to changing conditions. Parliamentary representative of Schwazel Saltibus, Honorable Bradley Felix, highlighted the importance of procuring modernized equipment to ensure the sustainability of the agriculture industry in St. Lucia. I'm hoping that we take advantage of the predictions and the readings from the weather station so that we could make very sound decisions. And not because your neighbor is planting put, um, tomatoes or potatoes that you decide to do the same thing. That we can vary what we grow, okay? And we can do it with the knowledge and the science behind it. So I'm looking forward to a significant um, increase in production in, in, in the quality based on the readings that we will be getting from the the, the weather station and I want to take the opportunity to thank the government and the people of Taiwan for continuous con, for their continuous assistance. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, reaffirms his government's commitment to assist in ensuring a more resilient agricultural sector in St. Lucia. The weather station before us is able to collect all sorts of data, rainfall, light intensity, wind speed, and humidity is solar powered and can be remotely assessed by the internet. 
This is what new agriculture looks like. I have full confidence that this weather station are one of the important steps to achieving agriculture 4.0. We are honored to work with St. Lucia, a strong ally, and with support from that mighty partner like the United States on mutually beneficial goals with such meaningful impact. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives encourages farmers to take full advantage of the new technology received when planning their production cycles. From the Information Unit of the Department of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting. British singer Rita Ora has said that she is deeply sorry for breaking English lockdown rules to celebrate her 30th birthday. The singer says she attended a party at a restaurant in West London on Saturday. Given the restrictions, I realize how irresponsible these actions were and I take full responsibility. That's what Rita Ora wrote in a statement. It's reported up to 30 people were at the party, although she describes the event as a small gathering. She says it was a spur-of-the-moment decision. London's Metropolitan Police confirmed officers went to Casa Cruz restaurant after a report about a potential breach of COVID lockdown regulations. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. We have the latest weather forecast coming up.